Hello everyone, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. And today we have a tutorial that I think will be fun. It's kind of a mixed media, make a notebook art journal type thing. I will refine that title for sure, but we're just gonna do a quick tutorial using some of these Ken Oliver Sparkle uh, Glimmering Lights Liquid Sparkle. So we're gonna be playing with these and I'm gonna show you everything you need, but if you want super easy, I have some packs. I only have six available, but it's pretty much everything that I'm using. Um, kind of simplified down, but you'll get the cover and paper, stencils, um, two different colors of sparkle, uh, clips and needle and water brush and a pen. So you get a whole kit and you have enough to make one complete journal but you'll get some extra stuff too. So you actually get two covers. It is 135 pound paper, so it's really heavy. That'll be your cover. You get an extra one so you can practice on one and then refine it on the final one. You get two different stencils, that way you can choose what you want. And each kit has two totally different stencils. Um, there are a total of six different colors, but you will get two. So like this one is shamrock and pearl, but you'll get two random ones. They all go together. You will get a water brush and the size of the water brush, meaning the size of the bristles may vary slightly. They, they all work. So you get a really nice water brush and then you get a pen. These are so pretty when I found these. Um, I found a couple sets of these and they're so pretty. Look at the little like gold, uh, leaf. So you'll either get a green or a pink one in your kit and you'll get a needle and the binding thread that you need as well as clips to hold your pages in. You, it is only going to make a 40 page little journal. This is meant for a gift or your own journal, whatever you want to do. So you get 10 pages. This is presentation paper. So it's a little heavier because we're going to actually be coloring it a little bit. And then one side is aligned and the other side is blank. So you have art journaling and journaling available. So, so I have only six kits available, but I will post Amazon links in the description box for like, if you want to buy in bulk, um, the, wa the exact water brushes I got, it was a two pack. So you probably don't need 12 water brushes. One is probably sufficient. Um, I probably will have one or two listings of just a couple water brushes in the supply section. So look out for that because I have a few extras, uh, probably one listing. I'll just have a couple extra water brushes if anyone is interested. Um, now these pens, I don't have a link for because I didn't get those on Amazon. Um, but the stencils is actually like a 25 pack on Amazon and they're all different. They're all these four by four stencils. This is the one I'm going to be using. They're all different. So you get two, but if you want all 25 of them, I have the link for that. Um, this paper, I don't have the link for, but, um, any watercolor or heavy duty cardstock would be fine. These Ken Oliver liquid sparkles, I'll give you the link for the complete this complete set of the glimmering lights um, if you want the complete set. And then for the papers, you can use any papers in a journal. So that's the introduction. Let's get into it. And I'm actually going to take one of the covers out of here because I, I'll, I'll replace it. But I forgot to bring a cover for me to work on. These are nine by six. And let's get going. So it's just a, it's 135 pounds, so it's quite heavy. This is gonna be the cover. We're gonna make a mess, that's fine. Uh, we'll bind it afterwards. Okay, so I have my water brush ready. Um, I just grabbed one, it doesn't really matter. This is the width on that, but as you can see, they're all different widths, so you're gonna get one of these, but it really doesn't matter which one. To get it started, you it says push, and you just push, and the water starts uh, coming to the bristles and then you can paint. This is really nice if um, you just keep it ready and you don't have to worry about like a pan of water or anything like that. I just have this plastic plate for kind of, you know, keeping the paint and all of that just in one area. I hope I'm in frame because now I have never worked with these before. 
I like doing experiments, especially on video. I think it's interesting to try new things and see what we come up with. But I've been wanting to try some of the Ken Oliver things. And so I found these on Amazon. Here's the colors, Pearl, Sapphire, Copper Leaf, Sunflower, Blush, and Shamrock. They are beautiful together. And the back, it says, create sparkling highlights with liquid sparkles. Brush this translucent, glittery paint medium onto desired surface. For a shimmery look, use direct from the bottle or add to mediums on your palette. Blends well with inks, watercolors, acrylics, and color burst. Water sol soluble, easy to use. So you can buy the whole set or just my little kit, depending upon how much you think you want to do with it. All right, so um, I'm only going to use two colors as well, and I think I'm going to use the blush and sapphire. All right, and I'm gonna give it a good shake. Like I said, I have not used these before. Sometimes I think it's great to see what they look like. Um, okay, I'm just going to, wow, look at how beautiful that is. I don't know how well you guys can see that blue in the shimmer. So I will be adding a little bit of water with the water brush, get my little stencil and give it a go. So what I want to do is put my stencil here in the middle because this is where I want my image. I'm gonna grab a little bit of um, washi tape to hold it down, but this part probably isn't necessary. Um, just gonna kind of tack the tips down with washi tape. You could probably just hold it down if you wanted to, but I think that will help me a little bit for this tutorial. All right. So look at how pretty that blue is. Oh, so we're going to have a piece of scrap here just to, oh my goodness, look at that color. Oh, so pretty. Okay. So let's I want, I'm going to start out in the middle, and since it's a stencil, all I'm doing is painting in the stencil. This is great for quick gifts, especially if you have to make a few. And they're not going to be that thick or that heavy, so they're going to be really, really great for Happy Mail. And all I'm going to do, it's okay if it's messy, it's okay if it's not perfect. I actually would prefer that because I want it to kind of have a painted mixed media type effect. So any parts that I want blue, I'm just gonna paint in blue or sapphire. And I'm really trying to work with a lot of new mediums this year. Just, I've been watching Jennifer McGuire Inc. I probably a lot of you know her. Um, but she does so many different effects. And this is not actually inspired but, I mean, I guess it's inspired by her, but it's nothing specific that she did. She didn't use this product or these stencils. She uses a lot of stencils and a lot of different products, but um, I just wanted, I guess I was just inspired to try new techniques, put it that way. And I happen to love mandalas or this kind of like tiled look. You do not, I'm not a painter. You do not have to be a painter. You do not have to have any art skills to do this. And you can be messy. It can be outside the lines. I'm being, I would call halfway neat. If I wanted to, I could be splattering stuff everywhere. And I may even do that at some point. But anyway, so I'm done with the blue and took wash the blue off my brush because I'm only going to use one brush here. Is I'm just going to squeeze it till the water comes out the brush and just kind of wash it with the water over here until you see it's clear and I'm just gonna blot it off over there. So now I have a clean brush and we're gonna see what this blush color looks like. And that was just like one big drop. Like that's all it is and look at how much it did. So look at the vibrancy of that color. And I'm just doing two colors to show you you can just buy this pack and you can just make a journal cover with a couple drops, like a drop of this stuff. And so this would last for so many projects and so many journals and you don't have to buy the complete set or anything. So look at that color. Let's do our test swatch over here. Uh, look at how pretty that is. This is called blush. Okay. 
So now what I didn't do, I'm gonna color in here. And these almost look like little hearts. I think that I might end up giving this as a gift for Valentine's Day. I'm thinking about sending it to my mom. A lot of you know her work, Elizabeth Knapp. And if it comes out the way I want it to, I'll probably send it to her kind of as a, you know, Valentine's Day. Actually, her birthday is right before Valentine's Day. So how perfect is that? Blue is also her favorite color. I should get ahead of myself, though, because I'll wind up not liking it, which is why I gave you two pieces. Like I said, I'm doing it kind of messy here. I'm going to need another drop of that pink. I hope I'm staying in frame for you guys. I'm saying low battery. I would say half my videos I film on low battery. Like I said, I'm doing this really messy. I'm okay if it's not perfect through the stencil. The stencil's just a suggestion. And of course you could do more than two colors. You could do it all in one color. Or you could use a different medium like your favorite inks, colored pencils, sprays. I'm seeming to need a little more of the pink and I don't know if I did a bigger drop of blue to start with, I think I did. But the pink doesn't seem to cover as much area. Or maybe I'm covering more area. I'm never good with spatial things. Okay, so just doing this pretty and messy. There we go. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush off. I'm just going to push where it says push till the water starts flowing. And wash it till it's clean. Now my brush is clean. I can put the top on and just keep it by my workstation. Ready to go. All right, so I'm going to very carefully peel off. I could wait till this dried, but ain't nobody's got time for that. <laughs> I, I am not a patient crafter. I would prefer the mess and just call it artistic <laughs> license <laughs> than waiting for stuff to dry. Look at how pretty that is. And I want to try this. I'm going to do it on the scrap paper, though. What happens... Let that dry. Okay, so here's my scrap paper. When I press it down and try to get all that ink off, that could be really pretty like on a side um, scrap paper and then cut it into a tag or something like that. Okay, so while this is drying, and I think that's beautiful. Actually, I wanna spatter it just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna do blue and pink splatter. So I'm gonna do one drop of blue. I still have some pink. And I'm gonna guess I'm not done with my water brush. I always think of things I want to add. Okay. All right, get my blue here. And then I I have it quite wet and I'm just going to tap it. Grab a little more blue, tap it, and look at it's just doing this splatter effect. And I'm probably getting my whole desk <laughs> dirty, but I don't care love that okay and then I'm gonna wash it out again just squeezing it till that clean water comes and then come over here to the pink which I am gonna do one more drop of pink and I'm going to I love that so much isn't that fun all right, cleaning it again. Yes, I'm doing this all in real time and not speeding it up because I like chatting with you and because just the way I like doing videos. So now that I can set that aside and I could get, like, I don't want to waste any of this. This is actually a sticker paper, so I could do a lot of cool things with that. Keep thinking I'm done with this brush and I'm not, but 
I can just try to get as much that makes a purple as much of that color off as I can to kind of do a background let it dry and I'll have like this shimmery sticker background that I could die cut or make who knows what out of add more layers to but it's like this soft purple especially when you have mediums like this that feel special because they're a set or you've invested money in them I mean they're not super cheap and I'm going to let that dry. And I'll use that in another project somewhere, I am sure. I'll let that dry off to the side. Now, while our, while our journal cover is drying, I am going to grab our papers from the kit. I've made this super easy. They're all the same. I've just printed out a line background from pixelscrapper.com. So if you're not buying the entire kit, you can just do something like that. You can just fold it in half and then um, grab your little clips from the kit. There should be two mini clothespins. And I'm only seeing one, which means I just placed one. If you don't have any clothespins, you can grab um, paper clips too. Kind of keep it all together. And then we're gonna poke, use our needle, poke a hole right through the middle. It's a little hard if you have an awl. That would of course be preferable or easier, I guess I should say. Make my hole, wiggle it a little bit to make my hole big enough. And then this is just a three hole pamphlet stitch. I've showed it many, many times. This is a trick, like if you put your needle down and then press down on the paper like that, wiggle it around, make my hole big enough to go back through and then closer to the top. As you can see, I measure everything to the millimeter. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. No, I don't. All right, there we go. And wiggle it around to make my hole a little bigger. Now I can go in and add some, I'm gonna add some splatter to these pages. Not right now, but I will. So here's the, look at how shimmery it is. I mean, it's still not all the way dry. So I'm gonna actually pull out my heat gun, which is right here, because I don't want to have to wait. It probably would be totally dry in like 10 minutes. But I'm just gonna plug in my heat tool and part in the noise for just a few seconds. Now you can totally go crazy with this if you want to. You can come back in with markers you can come back in with rhinestones you could come back in with a whole bunch of things and add more to the cover if you wish but you can leave it just clean and bright like this too so we have our little pages here and i'm just going to mark i'm going to line it up where i want it and i can see my three holes so i'm just going to take the little pen and I'm going to make little pen marks so that will line up. I'm going to grab my needle and thread and just poke through that cardstock with a little bit of a wiggle to make a big hole like that. I'm doing this all real time. You're seeing how long it takes to put it together, start to finish. If you have the kit, it's not that bad. So I line it up and I put the needle through the middle hole, leaving enough space so that I can tie it off. Simple pamphlet stitch, three hole pamphlet stitch. Of course you could do a five hole or 
whatever you like. This is just easy. Sometimes it's hard to get it back through that second time. I'll get it. There we go. And then through that last hole right there. And then I'm going to tie it off. And I like to do two knots. And then I find a pair of scissors, trim it, pull off my clips. Now we're going to add some artistic splatter, just like we did before. Guess I didn't need to clear this off yet, but that's fine. So there's some pink, there's some blue, there's a million different things you could do. You can take your stencils and go in and stencil throughout the pages. You could ink all the edges up. You could, I mean, there's a million things you can do. I'm trying to stay fairly simple. Mom, mom will probably use this as like a to-do list pad or something like that. So I'm just doing some blue. And I'm just going to flip every page and do my little splatter a little bit. I'm not even going to wait for it to dry. I'm okay if it smears a little bit. I think that is kind of artistic. Okay, so I just finished doing that with all the rest of the pages, and now I'm gonna clean my brush and do the same thing with the pink. Make sure my brush is clean and clear, and then I'm gonna go back to the beginning and do a slight pink splatter. I am getting paint everywhere, this is fun. <laughs> And like I said, you don't have to do the paint splatter. You could leave it plain. You could do stamps. I'm gonna have my buddy come in and visit Mom, me. You my hey, spin. he was showing me his spin. So I'm just adding that pink, and ta-da! It is done. <laughs> Washing off my brush and. Putting that aside. Doesn't that look neat? And so that is just the basic art journal or whatever to-do list, whatever you want it to be. And then you get a little pen in the kit. So you have a pen, you can write, you could go ahead and decorate this up with any kind of um, floor, flowers or rhinestones or anything else you might want to do but I also think just that really pretty simple shimmer looks absolutely amazing too and you have all this wonderful space for journaling and writing and it really didn't take that long to do so these will be in the junk journal supply section um, the kits as well as the water brushes I have a couple water brushes and a couple extra that I had extras of will be there too. And all the Amazon links will be below if you wanted to buy like bulk, like if you wanted to buy everything I bought, um, you could do that too. And they are affiliate links. So I do get a small little percentage of that, which is nice, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll see all of you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.